The heinous crimes against children that Jared Fogle is pleading guilty to is bringing awareness to the sex trade of minors. The FBI is now estimating that there are nearly 300,000 American children at risk of being exploited and trafficked for sex. And that could fill Lucas Oil Stadium capacity five times over. And a majority of them are girls between the ages of 12 and 14. Many of those victims are discovered right here and in central Indiana. 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman examines the battle against the se child sex trade here in Indianapolis. We've had victims from Carmel, we've had like five victims from Carmel. It's a crime that all too often goes hidden. Likewise, we can't show you this investigator's face. But Detective John Daggy of the IMPD Human Trafficking Unit says, don't be fooled. What former subway spokesman Jared Fogle admits in a plea agreement is happening right here in central Indiana. It's a money-based industry. Um, and unfortunately, kids get hurt in it. My youngest victim was 13 years old. Teens, some runaways, exploited as part of the sex trade, some lured into the world of sex trafficking and held against their will. There's no, no certain race. Even young men can get caught up in it. Nobody's immune from it. Just a day ago, IMPD took a couple into custody after learning a missing 16-year-old girl was being held against her will and being used to promote prostitution. Police arrested Kevin Gaines Dukes and Maisha White on preliminary charges of sexual human trafficking. Trafficking means selling children for sex. Federal law protects children under the age of 18 from victimization in child pornography. It also protects them from being used in commercial sex acts. Jared Fogle was charged as a consumer traveling to engage in sex with a minor. A Florida woman who says she tipped state police off to Fogle now says Fogel's alleged quest for children was international. From here in the United States to when he was on his international tours um, and then visits to Thailand. From New York to Indianapolis, Sergeant Daggy says the children are often sold through adult escort services advertised on websites like Backpage.com. National Child Safety Groups say as many as 495 child sex trafficking victims were linked to Backpage.com prompting Visa, MasterCard, and American Express to cut ties with the site just last month. Backpage is trying to address the problem by requiring users to agree to report suspected exploitation of minors and human trafficking. Anytime any city in the state, in the country, has a large event, there the demand grows for sex trafficking. Now, just for example, 68 arrests for commercial sex were made here in 2012 during the Super Bowl. That latest suspected trafficking case uncovered just yesterday is now in the hands of the FBI. Anyone who suspects child sex trafficking can call the national hotline at 1-888-373-7888 or simply contact a member of IPAT, the Indiana Protection for Abused and Trafficked Humans Task Force that's comprised of local law enforcement, prosecutors, DCS, and domestic violence shelters like the Julian Center. We've also posted that number on Hot Topics at WTHR.com.